We don't have to wait for a warmer world to experience unusually high tides. We get them every winter around the time of the king tides. And today's example didn't completely soak the Embarcadero in San Francisco today, but it was about two feet higher than it usually is. And KPX 5's Max Darrow has the story. The king tide returned to the Bay Area on Saturday morning, soaking some lower-lying walkways along the Embarcadero. You think you're looking at something you see every day, and suddenly your feet get wet, and it's not what you see every day, and you start to back up. It's a yearly phenomenon here, one Stan Peckner likes to photograph. Be very careful, because <laughs> uh, you never know when that wave is going to come up and uh, bite you in the butt. King tides occur when the moon, earth, and sun come into alignment, with the moon closest to the earth and the earth closest to the sun. It means that we're going to have a higher than usual high tide and as well as lower than usual low tides. Lori Lambertson is an educator with the Exploratorium who spent her morning teaching this large and curious group all about it. The normal tidal range for our area from the average highest tides and the average lowest tides is about six feet. On a day like today, the difference in the water levels from the high tide to the low tide is going to be about eight feet. Exciting to experience from the shore and from the water, birds and humans alike. These surfers hit the waves at Ocean Beach. Yeah, the surf was really good. It's, uh, it's been glassy all day, and um, as the tide drops, it's, it's uh, changing a little bit and getting better. The phenomenon is still infrequent, happening only once or twice a year. But Lambertson says climate change coupled with sea level rise is occurring. So today's king tide will eventually become the regular high tide. When it starts to happen more frequently, it's not going to be exciting. It's going to be a nuisance and it's going to damage infrastructure and create a lot of problems in our communities. If you've got some good photos or videos of the high tides, consider sharing them with the California King Tides Project. They're asking people to send them in so they can get a better understanding of sea level rise and what California will experience as it happens. In San Francisco, Max Darrow, KPIX 5.